The Eagles will be in all black on Sunday night with some sick new black helmets to cap things off. See what I did there? We're just a few days out from the Eagles and Packers on Sunday night football at the link. But before you get to that, hello. Welcome to Birds Huddle powered by PointsBet alongside Jason Avant. I'm Taryn Hatcher and Dave Zangaro will join us in a little bit. Jason, you have donned the all black unis before, but what do you think about the new black helmet to match? It's pretty slick. Listen. I'm a receiver. We like to be fashionable. We like to look good. We want to be mm -hmm. like Taryn Hatcher one day when we grow up. So you the black helmet. You want to wear some helmets, black velvet, velvet Exactly. We, we like that. So the black helmet looks good. Any variety, we love that. All right. <laughs> uh, on to some non-fashion football talk now. Jalen Hurts led the Eagles offense to a fourth quarter comeback against the Colts on Sunday in a game that clearly meant a whole lot to Nick Sirianni when meeting with the media. Both ad addressed their evolving coach QB relationship and they could not be happier with it. The relationship with uh, with Jalen, I just really appreciate the quarterback uh, head coach relationship that we have, um, you know, and that how it's grown over the, the last year and a half. Um, you know, we know more and more about each other, uh, not only in football, but in per our personal lives, too. And that's what's so important to me in in coaching and in playing is the relationships that you have and the connecting that you have. Um, because I think one, I think that's important to team chemistry and, and who you, and what you're becoming as a team. And two, that's why we get into this, right? So we continue, to, so we can continue to be on a team. We've learned a lot about one another, being able to just spend time with one another, put the work in together. And I think he's grown in a number of different areas. You know, just uh, his overall grasp for what he's doing. Like I saw, I think we all kind of have the same objective and. And why we come do what we do every day and just try and take steps in there. So, you know, we, we just all want to single-handedly um, continue to do our job so we can, um, you know, get the results we want. And that brings us to Jason's three-point stance presented by your Mercedes. Jason, your first stance, Jonathan Gannon's defense will become elite. Now, this comes after he was kind of back on the hot seat after that loss to the commanders. But you think... Yep. They are on the up and up and that they have a, a high ceiling. Go for it, Jason. I do think Jonathan Gannon's defense is going to be one of the elite defenses in the National Football League. Yes, I'm tired of them giving up third down so easily. I'm tired of them getting their ball ran on them. I am just as tired as any other Eagles fans. But however, this team, when you look at them statistically, they're second Overall in yards, 300 yards a game, they're giving up. They're first in takeaways, 21 takeaways. They're also seventh in points given up. They're two bad areas. They're 19th against the rush, and they're also terrible at third downs. Now, when you consider that, Jordan Davis is coming back soon. They got Linval Joseph. Don Dominican Sue. They got a lot of things coming back. Maddox is coming back as well. So when you consider all these things, they're going to be good. Well, and it's very interesting you bring up their, their yardage total being pretty decent because I sit there and wonder in my mind the percentage of that that is on the ground <laughs> and on third down, and it drives me insane. It's, yes. Well, okay. We're going to move on <laughs> to stance numero dos. While the Eagles will be playing an all-time elite QB in Aaron Rodgers on Sunday, Jason believes that Jalen Hurts will be the best quarterback on the field Sunday night. I said it. Speak, speak on it, Jason. I said it. I believe it. Jalen Hurts this year is going upward. 15 touchdown passing touchdowns, three interceptions. He also has eight rushing touchdowns, completing 68% of his passes. The team is 9-1. On the concert, uh, the otherwise, Aaron Rodgers is 19 and 7, 64% of his passes. He's always disgruntled. He's talking about the offensive line, talking about the receivers, looks at Matt LaFleur like he's short. He is not playing well right now, and I believe Jalen Hurts is the he best quarterback. He looks at Matt LaFleur like he's short. He does. He looks at him with contempt and disrespect all the time. It's definitely not good for the chemistry of the team, so. I think that Jalen Hurts, with all the respect that he garners, is the best quarterback. Okay, so I will wait to poo-poo <laughs> on Aaron Rodgers in the final stance. I do want to circle back to Jalen. We saw him, everybody wanted to see him develop his arm. And he showed throughout every game, especially before the bye week, that that arm is there now. He's even that one interception, A.J. Brown. It was a dime. Yeah. But now we're seeing him go back to his legs more when he needs it. Do you want to see him 
on the ground more again? Would you like to see him go back to the arm? What do you think is going to be the tactic here against the Packers? Jalen Hurts is going to do what the team needs. There's going to be times where they're going to take away our passing options. And now he is the advantage when it comes to running the football. You can't account for him. Usually his man is in the middle of the field and we can create another extra blocker with the running back if we continue to pound it with Jalen Hurts. However, I would love to see him personally continue to throw the ball 15 touchdowns, three interceptions. That ratio is outstanding. So I believe that Jalen Hurts is going to continue to get better. And he's looking like a league MVP. So let's look wow. for it. Wow. You've been so high on this team. But <laughs> usually when you come in optimistic, they play well. So I'll take it. All right. All right. Finally, we're moving on. We're talking about Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to take shots somewhere in here. But okay. you do believe that he's still capable of being Aaron Rodgers, even if Jalen ends up playing better for the majority of the game on Sunday. Aaron Rodgers can still do Aaron Rodgers things, Jason. Yeah, you have to be aware of Aaron Rodgers. This guy is a 10-time Pro Bowler, four-time league MVP, Super Bowl champion. Yes, he isn't playing the best right now, but all of those measurables, all of those skills, that Hall of Fame talent is within him. And he's missing some easy throws. There's reports that he has a thumb, broken thumb. We'll see about that. But Aaron Rodgers is still Aaron Rodgers, and he has some weapons around him. Yes, they're young, and they have to learn really quickly they're not up to his standard right now, but they can be pretty quickly. So we have to respect Aaron Rodgers as such, and our defense has to um, limit him as much as we can. As a, as a receiver, I do wonder if you have a QB who is a future Hall of Famer like Aaron Rodgers, who's also somewhat of a malcontent, and you are a receiver currently on the roster that he's not so thinly veiled complaining about not having enough weapons over yeah. you know the past however many years it's been now. How does that hit you if you're in the receiver room? Especially, I know it's coming from Aaron, so it comes with a certain weight of respect. But what is that like to digest as a player? Well, as a player, you have to do your job and not worry about Aaron Rodgers. That's your job. Aaron Rodgers is not responsible for anything. But however, the receivers are in proverbial hell right now because <laughs> this has nothing to do with them. They can't do anything right. This has to do with the management, the head coach, and Aaron Rodgers. And you're just in a crossfire. So go out and do your job. Don't worry about the looks, the disdain on his face for Matt LaFleur. Don't look at any of that. Just do your job. I would imagine those ricochet shots, they do start to wear, though. Would they not? Because even if yeah. he's looking at Matt LaFleur, like, I, I'm hating what you're drawing up here. If yeah. he's talking to the front office, like, I'm hating who you're putting on your team here. And you're the guy they're drawing up plays to. And you're the guy on the team. I, I would imagine that wears, no? Devontae Adams left for a reason. Hey, it, it happened. Devontae Adams left for a reason. He had an opportunity to match the contract. He chose to go to the Las Vegas Raiders. So that happened for a particular reason. There has to be some personality traits that are not always amicable there. It's not always gelling and all of those things. So I believe that the receivers, again, they're not in the best situation. Do your job, shut up, and um, hopefully he gets traded here soon and you'll be great. And, that's, <laughs> and that is where I think so many people, Eagles fans, in the locker room, coaching staff, team, teammates alike count themselves very lucky in terms of Jalen Hurts because he is as much as Nick Sirianni is the guy who gets so high and so emotional and so into it Jalen is Mr. It's all good. We're going to figure it out. We're going to move it right along. And it's, that's got to be so valuable in a yeah. locker room. But one of the best leaders in the National Football League. Jalen Hurts has always been a pro's pro. When you have a guy from the quarterback position that the coaches can point to and everybody can follow. It's, it's special, and I believe this team and everyone is looking after Jalen Hurts, and, I, and it's great to see that and great to have that. Coach is good. All right, much more to get to on this edition of Birds Huddle. Here's the playbook presented by your Philadelphia area Cadillac dealers. Dave Zingaro joins us after the break for a little bird's eye view. Plus, we break down the numbers for the NFC East showdown on Thanksgiving between the Giants and the Cowboys. That's in Arlington. And who will be the more impactful running back on Sunday night? Aaron Jones? or Miles Sanders. We shall discuss Birds Huddle returns after this. Birds Huddle is powered by PointsBet. Whether you are on the move or on the couch, do it live on PointsBet.